heard Linda talk, and I know what she does. Linda worked with Starbucks for many years. As a matter of fact, I don't think coffee would exist without Linda Glass. Uh, Is that possible? I don't think Howard Schultz would. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay. No. Sorry, maybe there's someone else. But anyway, <laughs> she worked in a variety of positions with that exciting company and learned a lot mm. from them. Has worked in Austin with Milk and Honey, uh, Day Spa, with the um, Lance Armstrong Foundation, and with a variety of other people. And when she talks, I really trust that what she says is coming out of experience and knowledge and not just out of a certain you know, mindset or theory. So it's a real pleasure to present Linda Glass to speak with you. Let's give her a big round of applause. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, David. I think I'm, I think I'm mic'd, so oh, yeah, yeah, I, think yeah. I'm, I think I'm good. If, why am I even setting goals? Like where, you know, what's my motivation? if you will, and then how do you really um, set a plan around it. We'll have some time practicing goals, so if you think you're going to sit here and listen the whole time, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the world of entrepreneurship. You now have ADD, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's like, hey, that looks good, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, all jokes aside, I mean, there is a lot of study around high-performing leaders, CEOs, entrepreneurs. A lot of times they do have undiagnosed ADD, um, but that, um, it's true. But that's because it's about, when you think about entrepreneurs and business owners, you are innovators, right? You're all about what's that idea and you're aware and you're looking at things. So focus can be a challenge. It's a good thing. Yeah, sure. Okay, so she has to, I mean, it, do you see her go gulp? Right? <laughs> Everywhere. I mean, it's a bit aspirational, right? And that's what vision, that's what a vision statement is. It's got to be aspirational. It's got to be something that kind of makes you go gulp. Vision that Eddie talked about, I kind of talk about, I kind of refer to that as your, your touchstone, like your daily touchstone. Um, when you look at how people are performing or behaving or decisions you're going to make around your business, is it aligned with your mission? So if one tenant of Eddie's mission is around quality, right, quality of product, and he's looking to partner with a vendor, right, he's got to really evaluate that vendor in context of quality, right, is it really going to support my mission? So mission to me is that continual touchstone, daily touchstone. <clears throat> I'm a Gen Xer. And we may have behaved differently than the generation before us, but the sheer numbers, you look at the sheer numbers of Gen Y, it's like 70, like close to 70 million. So employers that get frustrated with the way Gen Y behaves, guess what? Too bad. Because you're, the thing is, is that a lot of things that Gen Ys want around the workforce are the same thing as the other 70 million want around the workforce, and that's the boomers. They all have different attributes, but the boomers and the Ys are both looking for flexible work arrangements. They're both, um, they're both looking to do work now that's challenging. You know, the only difference is that a boomer says, I've been doing this work long enough. I deserve it. Like, I've earned it. So I should get to do what's important to me, what's challenging. The Gen Y is like, well, why wouldn't I work that way? <laughs> Can I really do this, right? Do I have, am I set up to do this? And timely. So looking at um, really making it so that you can look at it and say, yep, I can see that being done and I can measure it and we can do it and we're set up to do it. As a leader, I can support them. So people want to know, like, how did I contribute? What, what it, are we making progress? And so I think that's so important when we talk about goals because it's not just enough to write them. You have to communicate them and not just communicate, this is what we're doing together, but hey, are we making progress? You brought up the point because here, I'm, I'm not here to say this is the way. You've got to come at, at it from an angle that you feel comfortable with, that you feel like supports your leadership philosophy but drives towards your vision. But you also want to check yourself a little bit and say, okay, is this, is this the way my people are thinking? Because at the end of the day, it's not just about you. It's about the way that they're thinking and how can you tackle that. Eddie, I see you.